2020, of course, was also a very difficult year for us. Many plans changed, many things didn't happen, new things did happen. We installed a full prograde filming laboratory in our facilities, uh, enabling us to make high quality video, to stream our lectures to our students and also to live stream to the internet to bigger audiences if necessary. In the future, we hope we can make much more use of this uh, studio by providing it also to others, to providing maybe commercial services using the studio and to produce much more learning material than we did so far. The first use case for this prograde filming studio was our annual summer school on radar remote sensing. This event, of course, in 2020 had to be also fully virtual, although usually this is an on-site training with approximately 50 people. In order to deliver the highest quality possible, we came up with a framework that allowed us to use pre-recorded videos in a live setting. So basically the project had two phases. First was production of videos pre-recorded with a maximization of audio and video quality, ensuring a nice uh, viewing experience. And then there was a deployment phase where this material was deployed live and synchronous to all the participants at the same time. The corona pandemic, of course, was a big, big catalyst for all the activities concerning e-learning. Things are now moving much faster. The demand is growing faster and faster. Of course, we hope that uh, this trend continues in the future and that e-learning becomes a more integral part of teaching and learning in the Earth observation sector and that also the budgets slowly catch up with the demand that is uh, created within the last months. The second key lesson from 2020 for us is especially concerning the production of summer schools, workshops and so on, that it is possible to provide high quality training for live events over the internet. Um, the ability to pause a video, to rewind the video and also to deliver the same quality of video to each participant, which is not possible in a classroom setting, are tremendous advantages over uh, the classic classroom setting. The next three years will be really exciting for us and will bring a lot of activities that are also relevant to the working group. In the foreseeable future, we will publish a lot of new content. First and foremost, there will be a mini MOOC on the basic principles of Radar Backscatter, which will be available in four languages, which is supposed to come out in spring 2021. Shortly after that, we will also publish a mini MOOC in collaboration with many partners from Canada on applications that are especially relevant to the Canadian um, users of radar data. Late in 2021, in collaboration with colleagues from the Geo Research Center in Potsdam, we will publish a MOOC on uh, hyperspectral remote sensing. And just recently, we started the production of a MOOC on the role of Earth observation in achieving the sustainable development goal Zero Hunger. This MOOC will be designed as a highly collaborative effort Therefore, if you are interested in participating, providing content, providing data, increasing the net of stakeholders, I gladly invite you to join this call to action and to be part of the team for this MOOC from right from the beginning. Our key contribution to the working group within the next years will be the project EO Connect, which is specifically designed to be a strengthening of the network of the EO education community worldwide. Our vision for the next decade of WGCAPD can be described as collaboration and integration. According to our vision, we would like to create a central repository where all the members of WGCAPD store their teaching material, exchange the teaching material and use it in any way they like in all their different platforms, in all the different ways of teaching that happens on a global scale. We hope this can be our contribution towards a more international coordinated collaboration between EO teachers in order to teach many people with high quality EO teaching material.